Right, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the main part of this adjustable micrometer stand. Um, this one is used for inspection work, so you don't have to actually hold the micrometer. And you can swivel it around on this ball joint to whatever angle you want and then lock it up. So it's a very versatile stand, a heavy duty stand. And today I want to show you how to make this ball joint part here out of plumbing fittings. So on a stand like this, the ball joint is actually the hardest part to make, especially if you didn't use um, plumbing fittings. The top section here is a piece of polythene block, which I've just milled out and put a 6mm thread in there with a little disc on the front to lock the micrometer in the unit and once you've made this part you can also fix it to any base. I used a disc of brass here and part of a military World War I shell case to give it some weight and put it all together. So like I say make this part first you can make this part um, second and then the stand. You can even make a wooden stand if you want one but it's best to have something that's nice and heavy like this. I chose brass because I had the brass already plus I like the fact that it doesn't rust. So to make the ball joint I'm going to first make the ball which is a 30 millimeter diameter ball on the MyFit ML7 with my ball turning adapter and you need a plumbing fitting which is 28 millimeter. This is an octagonal one, it's an old type one. I get these from car boot sales or recycle centers. It's great if you can pick them up like this with three ports. You just saw down one side here at an angle and then saw down from the top here to meet that angle. And then you're left with the threaded part like this. This is a um, 22 millimeter one just for an example. But you can uh, put this one in. Um, it's a hexagonal one. So you can put that just in a three jaw chuck holding on the flats and then face off and turn this end ready to fit to the part here. Like I say this is um, the eight sided one so it'll need to go in a four jaw chuck. So now I'm going to go out into the workshop and finish the 30 millimeter brass ball off. You'll know that if I um, turn these balls on the MyFit ML7 I first drill and tap them part way through with an eight millimeter thread and that's so it goes on my um, turning fixture. The bar screws on the turning fixture and then I use the ball turning fixture to machine that. And I keep that 8mm thread for some studding there, some stainless steel studding which screws into that up to the stop and enough to screw into the underside of the um, polythene part here and then it's locked up with a lock nut. So the thread has two uses, one for the fixture and one for the finished component.
So that's the 8mm thread on my um, turning fixture there. And obviously it's got the 8mm thread in that one already. Then I can screw the stud into that one and put it in with a bit of Loctite 638 and put a nut on this end here and a washer and that one will screw up into the underside of the block of polythene which holds the micrometer and then lock that one up. I don't think I actually put a washer on there I just think I locked it up on the underside of the polythene. And remember if you're new to ball turning you start off with a piece of bar which is basically um, 30 millimeter in diameter and just skim down until it cleans up and that one will be very near 30 millimeter in diameter. So now I've sawn off the plumbing fitting like I showed earlier, I cut down at an angle and then cut down through the side there to meet that angle. And I've got this end piece here. Um, keep the olive if you've got one. And basically the ball will go up into that one and the thread will screw in. And there you have the ball joint. But before it's finished, you just got to put it into the jaws, the threaded part here. And like I say, keep the olive, put it back together with the nut. And then it can be held in a four door chuck being the octagonal shape or the three jaw chuck if you have the hexagonal shaped ones. Grip that in the jaws and do that one up nice and tight. So it's basically just face off and skim the bore to clean up and then deburr. So that's the part I've just machined take out the threaded part and I've made up this piece here out of a bit of aluminium and then this one will go on top of that or push down on the top with some Loctite 638 and this one's um, tapped for an 8mm thread so that it can be put onto the brass plate whatever plate you put it on and it's been drilled out a bit in the middle here so that when the ball goes in it doesn't actually make contact with the aluminium it's making contact with the um, threaded part there so you have to give it a bit of relief to allow for this part here of the ball 
So that one would be on there like that. And then the nut would screw on the top when it's all locked tight together. And you've got the ball swivel joint. And you can lock it up in any position. And this is the thread which would screw up into the polythene block or the nylon block or whatever you make this part out of. So that's really the main part of the micrometer stand. You can see there how easy it is to actually make. Mill out this part here and put a thread through. I'll put a six millimeter thread with a um, nut on the back here and a plate on the front there and that one just screws up against the back of the micrometer and locks it in position and it's a really excellent piece of care.